So, cut my finger with this tiny little blade on accident, wrapped up with tape, electrical tape. Cause that's how you gotta resolve things out here quickly and fast, stop the bleeding. The mud boat, my entire setup. Let's start off around the back. So I've got a 13 horsepower, 420 cc Predator Harbor Freight engine. It's the best thing ever. It's like an overkill for a 14 foot jumbo, which is awesome. We like to overkill here. And on the back of this, I've got a Swamp Runner kit with a long tail. The best kit I've ever had. And it's great because it works out here where there's tough grass everywhere. I've got a weed cutting blade right here. You bolt it on, screw it on with these screws, and then a weedless prop from Swamp Runner. I have zero complaints. It's got bayou bushings all throughout the shaft. It's the A85X, which is like the heavy duty shaft. And the mount that it's on, absolutely love it. You can turn it real easy, no problems there. For the bilge pump, I have a tube running from a 1100 gallon per hour pump hooked up to the battery. And it goes all the way through here and out this tube. I've got zip ties. Zip ties become your number one friend once you have a John boat. I've got lights hooked up to this little switch right here on and off, all hooked up to the battery. My favorite part, which is the interior, is a desert tan truck bed liner all throughout the whole thing. I sanded everything, took off the old paint, and applied this truck bed liner all in the interior. So now I don't get weird sounds. <laughs> metal and metal touch together. <laughs> kind of like a fork on a plate. This is metal on metal. This is how it used to sound and now this is how it sounds. That absorbs an impact is just phenomenal for what I need. I've got a light right here on the left side. I've got two side lights right here and a light in the middle that powers the headlights of the boat. And the last light I have is this side light right here, pointing to the water, to the sides. I'm definitely gonna put more lights all along, like light bars all around the whole rim of the whole Jumbo because let's be honest, enough lumens is never enough lumens. And I've got an ugly stick rod with a 5,000 size reel covers everything in the Everglades. Tarpon, snook, bass, peacocks, bofin, catfish, tilapias, Mayan cichlid, bluegill, anything. And this rod will take it. Right now it's rigged up with a AFK setup. I've got a weight and a circle hook, which is an AFK setup, away from keyboard setup. I've got this paddle right here. It's an extendable and retractable, very convenient. To save space on the boat. I've got a toolbox, I've got this toolbox right here. A bunch of good things to have. Waterproof jacket, uh, waterproof case, some headphones for the loud 13 horsepower 420cc mud motor, bug repellent. This is essential if you don't like horseflies, which I'm sure nobody likes. The swarms of horseflies, yeah. 98% DEET repels anything. Very strong stuff right there. <laughs> got a fire extinguisher right here. And we've got a flare gun in case I ever get in trouble. And I've got this toolbox with the essentials, spares mostly. Got gloves, a mallet to take off the prop, spark plug to take off the spark plug, and like three different props. Bullet prop from Swamp Runner and a standard prop. Got extra spares, bolts in here. Pliers, you need pliers always. 
screwdriver, and just a whole bunch of different tools that I need all the time. Duct tape in case I find a caiman out here and I'm able to catch it, and an extra spark plug, and a universal size socket wrench. Look at this little guy. And I've got a 2.5 gallon gasoline tank. Always good to have some spare gasoline. Fill the motor back up, especially when you go out here. The endless plane of possibilities, as I like to call it. I've got a rope right here, holds the tiller handle, holds the motor in place. All set to size to keep the prop out of the water. Got a kill switch. You just plug it in right here. And you're good to go. And if you fall out, throttle cable's all set up. That's about it. I've got four seat cushions so I can see better on my torse. And I've got this rope, much thinner than your standard white boat rope. Got it all measured out the correct measurements that i like to use they're very lightweight and they don't get so tangled all the time and one thing that's totally essential is an anchor a good anchor a good rope goes a long way out here in the everglades you ever get stuck you have an anchor you can throw pull throw pull i've done it for miles sometimes I just gotta keep on moving. When in need. Yeah, you're gonna get a sore arm. But it's totally worth it. We've got also a big machete, titanium bonded. Got a saw right here, a chisel, and a wire cutter. It's very maneuverable. In case I need to chop through some weeds, chop through some sawgrass, get stuck on a trail. It's always good to have something like that. I've got this huge 10 foot, 13 foot, I think it's 16 feet tall flag. And this is my entire 14 foot mud boat geared up everglades rated and i would go anywhere with this thing in the everglades 